What shall we ask the tarot today? I have my Ask the Tarot Love and Abundance Edition Oracle deck that I designed myself. There is a link in the bio to several decks that I've designed and also for same day private readings. But in the meantime, what should we ask the tarot today? What is the truth about this connection? Spirit, for the viewer, what do we need to know about this connection? The truth about this connection between the viewer and the person that they are thinking of. What do we need to know, please? Okay, bottom of the deck, we have got wishes granted, masculinity, and unconditional love. So I would say with a combination of these cards that there will be a divine masculine that is involved Either this divine masculine is you, or you feel that the person on your mind is your divine masculine. And the love that you have between you is unconditional love. Now I know that I have said this before, that unconditional love sounds so very simple. And yet, in truth, so few have really had the opportunity to experience this. Unconditional love is where there are no limits that you love this person for exactly who they are, and vice versa. There is no agenda to change the other. There is nothing but pure acceptance. And this is extremely rare and beautiful. The truth of this connection is that you may have manifested them into your life with this beautiful wishes granted card. To one another, you may both be the living, breathing, version of imperfect perfection to one another. It may actually shock you. It may actually shock you how utterly perfect they are for you. And although this sounds odd, you may even wonder if this is actually real or is this some sort of dream that you haven't properly woken up from because they hit every one of your wishes. But this was predestined and fated written in the stars and it is meant for you let us pull some tarot spirit what else can you tell us about the truth of this connection this feels like a very high level divine counterpart let us have a look the first card out is the hierophant what else do we need to know what else do we need to know about this connection please spirit okay bottom of the deck we have the Seven of Rods, we have the Ace of Cups, the Knight of Cups, and there is that Hierophant. The Hierophant may be one of my favourite cards, and it does very much speak of the spiritual. And to me it goes hand in hand with what we had seen with this Destiny card, that this was something predestined prior to coming to Earth. There was a soul contract made between the both of you. And the Hierophant talks about commitment, not just on the spiritual level, but very much in the physical. This card often speaks of traditions and traditional ceremonies such as marriage. And so it would not surprise me at all if this is the path in which you are being drawn. These bones in the Hierophant card, they are that of the humorous bone. And I have often noticed that God, the universe, or your higher self, whichever terminology you prefer to use, has an extraordinary sense of humour. I would even say quite mischievous. And this path that you have been led on in meeting your person may have really taken you on some twists and turns before meeting them. Certainly one of the things that I would say to you in combination with the Hierophant is to point out this Seven of Wands card. This is being very, very, very clear on what it is that you want. I would admonish you to be extremely careful with the words that you use, as to the words that you use in what you are wanting to manifest with this person, because the universe will bring it to you in a very literal sense. Within this relationship, you are being shown how great a manifester you truly are. Your words and your thoughts 
are very powerful and it's interesting because underneath that seven of rods is the ace of swords a card that speaks of exactness as this particular card has always reminded me of an exacto knife so what i am saying with these three particular cards is that the truth of this connection the both of you together are going to manifest exactly what it is that you are wanting to your version of heaven on earth and i would be very mindful of the words and the thoughts that are used between you as you both discuss what it is that you are trying to manifest together i could share some very funny stories with you about some of the conversations Stephen and i have had together just when we were joking and playing around and having fun and then them manifesting within days it's very true so the two of you together are very powerful manifestors and beings with the ace of swords this is saying that this is a very protected union both of you are protective of it and i feel very much that this is energetically and you are both safe within it but also there is a higher power guarding over it once again, I truly love how the tarot cards and the oracle cards complement and confirm one another. The literal meaning of the Ace of Cups is that of unconditional love. The love that you have for one another is uncomparable to any other. It even says it here on this very bottle. It says number one or no one. There is no one else that can even come close to touching what this relationship has provided for one another. There has been a lot of healing that has come from this relationship. And with the Knight of Cups, it is talking about the compassion and the empathy and once again the love that you have for one another. Not to mention the passion with this fertility tonic. There could potentially even be children that are born through this relationship. And I can only imagine how special and gifted these children will be. There is nothing but beauty within this relationship. It really is that idealistic, romantic love that everybody has dreamed of. And only a very few actually get to experience. I do believe that the people that this resonates with have not always had it easy and this love is going to feel like an immense and great blessing to them and these are the people that have done all of their inner work and they have dedicated years and years to their own growth and spirituality and i truly believe that this is where our particular collective is heading this is the birthright for all those that see themselves as divine feminines or divine masculines if it is what you desire and with the seven of rods you must remain very firm in your desires and not waver and the truth of this connection is that together you are going to be incredible manifestors each of you individually are powerhouses but together the energy that you generate is incredible and not only do you create your version of heaven on earth but you are a lighthouse and a beacon to many, many people around you. What you have shows others that they can also achieve the same. And your relationship will be the gold standard of what others desire and will be willing to work towards. This is, of course, a collective reading. And if you would like a personal same-day reading about the truth of your connection where we can look at any soul contracts that you may have then there is a link within my bio there is also a link in my bio to which you can find many of these oracle cards in physical form and in digital form